Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, there we are. Sorry, I'm just kind of moving things around. I'm just trying to see if I could like use this as like a vlogging camera being like, hi, welcome to my desk or something. I don't know. Anyway. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If I can get this set up right. My name is Zach, AKA Crochet Me Daddy, and I'm a crochet content creator pattern designer, I mean good me artist person. I make plush dolls and I talk about it online. And today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I felt like a lot of my previous videos over the past few months have been a lot more like educational content or they've been a bit more like challenges or I've been talking about the markets and prepping for markets and things. And I just wanted to bring back a bit more of a casual vloggy style vibe. It's what I initially wanted to do when I first started this channel. And so I just wanted to lean back into that style of content. I've been watching a Lot of like passionate goods as vlogs and she has been pumping out so many i don't know if i'll be able to pump out that many but maybe that's something i could aspire to crochet by jenna also does a lot of like crochet with me vlogs and talks about her projects and her objects throughout the week and i was like I want to get involved. I want to do more vloggy style things too. So I thought I'd just give you a little updates of what I've been working on, bring you through like maybe my pattern designing journey or other various projects that I need to focus on and get distracted from pattern designing for. And I don't know, just give you a bit more of like a behind the scenes look at the, the crochet me zeddy live. So let's just get straight into it. I'm currently just working on my next pattern design, which is a kangaroo. So I'm making a little kangaroo buddy. The way that I choose these different characters and things is I have a list written down on my phone of all the different designs that I'd like to make and bring them into the buddy style, which is what I've got here. And then I either go to my Patreon or I ask people over on threads or I just ask a variety of groups and I say, what would you like me to design next? I normally give them a few options of things that I would actually like to design because if I'm not feeling it that I'm not really gonna enjoy the design and I'm not really gonna want to put in my best efforts you know so anyway I asked them all and they said that that, that they would be keen on like a, a kangaroo and one thing I always wanted to do was make like a kangaroo buddy but then also have like a little joey so this pattern in particular is going to have like kind of like the mama kangaroo and then the little joey next to it I have designed and made the whole mama kangaroo I am just gonna be sewing it all together this is my first iteration of it all I'm pretty happy with all the shapes and whatnot when I am designing my characters I tend to just pin everything together before it's all sewn together just to kind of get an understanding of what it might look like I'm gonna show you so one two and three four and then the tail don't forget the tail I'm surprised I don't stab myself with the amount of times these are just floating around with like pins hanging out of them Oopsies. Okay. there you see what I'm on about so that's what the mama kangaroo is gonna look like and then on the other side I've got the little baby kangaroo I think this one's snout is a little bit long, so I might redesign it when I'm doing it again. Actually, no, looking at it now, I think it's kind of fine. So I'll just see what it looks like when it's all sewn together. Like one row extra or smaller isn't gonna make that much difference, but it's good to play around. Otherwise, it'll be one of those things when you're like making a project and you're just looking at it and you're like, that one little thing that you would just change and you know you can't change it because it's way back in the project and you'll just be thinking about it every time you see it and why didn't you just go back and undo it, you know? I'll think about it a bit more, but that's what I'm generally going for. So that's what I'm working on currently. I really enjoy doing this kind of monthly pattern thing for my Patreon because it really puts the pressure on for me to actually get out there and get designing. I think before I started my Patreon, I'd think about the patterns and then once I was feeling inspired for whatever reason, then I would make them and it was making my pattern releases be like every two, three months. And as someone who's trying to build themselves up to be a full-time pattern designer content creator, that, that wasn't really fast enough. So having this pressure put on by my Patreon has really been helpful in getting me to, what is it? Like, like a fire under my ass <laughs> and actually get into the the designing of things so last month I actually redesigned one of my patterns so I just did this little bunny buddy again so originally it was just the bunny buddy body and it used to have like a sweater option but now I've got rid of the sweater option because you can kind of figure out how to do that through my bear buddy which is that one there and now I've swapped it out so you have this little overall outfit you have a little carrot and then you have a little sun hat as well so it's very cute and I was very excited to re-release that one as well as all the updates for how I do different joins and things pretty proud of it that's what I'm doing now with my pattern designing I'm about to just sew this all together and see what it looks like so fingers crossed that this kangaroo looks good otherwise I might just shed a tear and start crying 
That's all part of the design process, I guess. I think some people might be like looking at this and being like, how are you doing that without mapping out where it's supposed to go? But I have sewn on so many of these little heads onto these plushies that I kind of know which spots the heads actually sew into at this point. I'm pretty confident I can just kind of get in there and just go for it. And if I muck it up, I'm just gonna blame myself for also filming it as I'm doing this. So I just finished sewing on the piece and like, I was about to say this doesn't look that uneven, but once I held it up to the camera, I was like, oh my God, is the head like slightly off? Like when you turn it to the side, it looks fine. And like even looking at it in person, I'm like, that's even. Why does it look so uneven on there? My hand behind it. It looks so slanted. It looks fine in person. Oh my God. On camera, this looks so wonky. I swear it's fine in person. Oh my God. Is it? It is. Was it just like the stuffing moving around? I can't. Look, that looks fine. Anyway, so I just sewed on the headpiece. It looks a little bit off center, but you know what? It's fine. It's handmade. No one's really gonna point it out. Like if I'm struggling to see it in person, then I think it's fine. We'll just keep sewing it together, but I'm happy with how the snout line looks. I'm happy with how it was all pinned up together and I'm excited to see what the finished result looks like. It just got a bit hot, so I'm in my little tank. Um, anyway, <laughs> but like I just finished the body part, like sewing it all together and I'm about to attach the ears, but one of those make like, I feel like the little dino buddy would look even cuter with this kind of nose. Like, I mean, I like what my dino buddy looks like now. Oops. Oh, actually, no, I like it like this. Don't worry, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> this is how I like to make up my new designs, is I'll start putting all these shapes together. I'm like, this could make something cute. And I am not mad at this shape right now to be used for a different type of animal or something. Maybe a dragon. I know everyone's making dragons right now. I even predicted it in one of my other videos. But, hmm, just, just thinking. Anyway, I'll get to back to back to sewing. Ready for the grand reveal. Ta-da! Doesn't it look cute? I think the nose bit turned out really cute. Just like this little kind of like almost T mixed with a Y shape. The ears look pretty nice. I put them like far back as well. So it gives that like accentuated face for kangaroo. The only thing I'm considering changing is potentially the pouch. It might just be like a little bit too small or like a little bit too low or maybe even the wrong color. But I think as a prototype, I'm pretty happy with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the Joey neck. So I've already got the head and the body. I'm still a bit unsure about this nose shape, but we're just going to continue with it for now. And I'll give it the same ears, a little tail, and then we should have a little family ready to go. That's all for those ones now. It's also getting really hot in my room right now, so I'm just going to head off. I'm going out for dinner with my friends tonight, so I'm going to go do that. And I will catch up with you tomorrow or potentially the next day when I'm working on the kangaroo design. Welcome back to day two of me figuring out how to vlog and talk about what I'm up to with my crochet. Today is gonna be a bit more of a video editing day. So all that footage you saw yesterday of me working on the little little kangaroo buddy pattern, I'm gonna work through that and see if it's usable and whether it's gonna be good content or something along those lines. I also need to make a video for Universe who sponsored my videos for uh, the past two videos I put out. I need to make like an Instagram reel for them, so. Still figuring out how to do that and it's due very soon and we'll see how we go. I'm sure I'll figure it out. I, I always do. Um, and then apart from that, I also filmed a market tips prep video. So I'm gonna be working on that one too. So it's a lot of just kind of sitting at this desk and working on videos. So, which I actually really enjoy. I sound like it's gonna be a lot of work and it is a lot of work, but I'm also, it's half enjoyment, half me just being like, <sighs> <laughs> you know, get what I mean? View the vibes. And then hopefully have a bit more time later on to work on the next part of the little Joey buddy, little kangaroo Joey buddy. I just like this little shape. I think it looks cute already. I'm still humming and hawing about the nose, so we'll think about that. Let's get to editing. Years ago. Anyway, it's just a slow process that I'm working on over time. It's not like a pressing issue. So it seems really meta, but I've just been spending the whole day editing videos. And I went to the gym, just got back from the gym. And now I'm going to be watching the previous footage of this video, literally this one that we're in right now, whilst also working on the little Joey buddy and 
making the last few pieces for that before I sew it all up. Whenever I'm editing a video, I like to edit it all and then rewatch it again, but while I'm watching my own videos, I'm also crocheting and being productive in other areas at the same time. I'm like a little production machine, I never stop, so let's get into it. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If I can get this set up right, my name is Zach, aka Crochet Me Daddy, and I'm a crochet content creator designer, I'm a good artist person. I make plush dolls and I talk about it online. So I've got two of the arms done and the two little ears done. If I can dangle these the right way. So I'm gonna sew those on as well as the head and all I'm missing now is just like a little tail. I haven't got like a design that I can easily just grab from like maybe another, a shape from another pattern or something like that. I'm thinking I might just like make a smaller version of this tail of how I shape it out with my other patterns and just like I was to essentially cut it off about there, I think that would be the right size. So I'm just gonna give it a shot and see how it looks on the back of this little buddy. So, so I just finished putting all the pieces together on little Joey Buddy and it looks really cute. Like I'm really happy with how this is looking. It just is a little prototype design. But I started making the tail just like how I said I would and I don't know, I, I'm not vibing it. I mean, it looks kind of silly, but it also looks like a very, very like wide, like it's almost taking over the entire body. I think the length is right. I think it just kind of, it's too big. There's, it's too, it's too girthy in a way. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna undo that. And I think I might like try elongate it a bit. <sighs> you know what happens when you become very comfortable with the pause? All of your non-words and your fill- So I just redid the little tail part and it's looking a lot thinner, a lot skinnier. I think it's gonna look a bit better just placing it on there like that. Like it just, ah, it just suits my, so much better. I'm so much more happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew this little Rue, this little Joey all together and then we can see what they look like next to each other and see if there's anything that I really need to change or any other updates. So see you at the end. Surprise, it's not the end of the video like you thought it was going to be because I filmed everything in slow motion. I actually filmed so many cool angle shots of me sewing the little Joey buddy together and then me talking about it and showing off how much fluff I got all over my body and all these funny and interesting things. And then it turns out I was filming it all in slow motion. So I can't use that footage, so never mind. We're just gonna talk about it now. I'll talk about my weekend, my little Easter away because now it is the Tuesday after Easter weekend and last time I was here was last Thursday, right before I went to a night out with my friends. So let's just rewind and go back to there. I went out for Easter with my friends. We did a little crafty Easter egg night where we like dragged up some Easter eggs. I'll check in some footage for you guys here. It was a pretty fun night. It was cute getting everyone together, having wine, making cute little crafty things. It was right up my alley. Although I didn't win the egg drag up your egg competition thing for whatever reason. And this hideous little Barbie legged egg won over me. And I, I'm still, I'm still not happy about it, but whatever, I was proud of my work. <laughs> I think my little egg named Ovary Excellence did really, really well. And I'm really, really proud of her. And then I spent the rest of the weekend hanging out with my brother who was visiting. We went to some wineries and then we did a little Easter egg hunt with my nephew and niece. And it was a very, very cute weekend. Craft related things I did on the weekend is that I decided that I was going to, for whatever reason, get back into really chunky chenille. Like I don't normally use this size of yarn and I just had like a real urge to do it. So I got some of this Honey Bunny Big yarn. So it's just like a very, like much more thicker chenille. And I just really, really wanted to make a big bunny buddy out of it. So I've got the body and I've got the head and I've got the ears and I've got all the pieces are ready to go and sew all together. But I ran out of polyfill. So now we have to wait a little bit longer until I can actually stuff it uh, as well as any other plushies and things. So I'm a bit stumped right now. And all I can do is really make like the bodies or like the skins, which sounds a bit creepy, uh, of plushies that I'd like to sew together once the once the plush uh, once the polyfill comes in. 
we're stuck at the moment. But what I can show you is what I did, which is actually finish the little kangaroo buddy and the little joey buddy. So I've got them right here. Three, two, one, reveal. Da, 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 da. So with the little kangaroo buddy, I know I was talking about changing the pouch ever so slightly and making it a bit higher or potentially doing a different color. In the end, I decided against that. I held up this like white cream yarn against it and I thought if I was gonna make like a little semi-circle in this kind of creamy white color, it'd look a bit random on the plushie. So I decided against that and after sleeping on it, I decided that the size of this was actually fine and I was just being a bit too a bit too picky, you know? So I have a that design is uh, as it is, and I'm ready to go into the next stages of creating the pattern. With the little Joey buddy, da -da 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 -da, I sewed it all together. I think the tail looks amazing. I think how everything came together looks amazing. I'm actually very happy with the nose size. I think it looks fine. I think if I went like one row shorter, it'd look a bit random in a way. Like I want that elongated face of a kangaroo. So very happy with how that looks. In the end, I decided that I'd also add a little pouch to the little Joey Buddy, and I think it just makes it look a bit more kangaroo-like. I think without the pouch, I think people might like mistake it as another kind of animal, like potentially or something like that. But I think if I was just to add a pouch, it just makes it a bit more like an anatomically, anatomically, a bit more correct. So I'm very happy with how that design looks as well. And therefore I'm ready to go into the next stages of pattern creation with these two. What that means is that I will be writing up the pattern over in Canva, then creating a, another kangaroo buddy and another joey buddy, which is actually what I've started here with these little animal skins. But what I need to do is take step-by-step -step photo instructions and put it all together in the Canva pattern and then send it out to some pattern testers from my Patreon and from the general public. So it's all go ahead and I'm very excited. Uh, one thing that is on my mind is that I think the color of it is like, it's nice, it's cute and everything, but I just feel like there's something missing and I can't quite put my finger on it. I, I was thinking like, does it need like a flower or a hat or a little bow or something and I just I just don't know like it's cute it's very cute as it is but I just want to go that one extra step like above and beyond to make sure that the pattern really sticks out like I quickly made this little like stick with leaves um ignore the bobby pin because I just use that to attach it yeah I just created this like little stick with leaves because I thought maybe that would do something and I think it looks cute like it's holding its lunch. I think it'll just look cute with some kind of accessory. I don't know if the stick and leaves are gonna cut it for me, so I'm gonna work on that or like think about that as I'm doing the rest of the pattern creation and whatnot, and hopefully something comes to mind. At the moment, I'm just drawing a blank, so I'm gonna just put it down and just give myself some time to think about it, and then we can come back to that. But for now, the rest of the pattern looks amazing. I'm very happy with it, and I'm keen to proceed as is. So that brings me to the end of today's vlog, where we are showing the behind the scenes of pattern designing. I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. It is new for me to just be talking to the camera without a script and just kind of winging it and just talking about what I'm doing in the moment. I think it's been kind of fun and actually been making me be a bit more productive in some senses so I would like to keep it up but I would also really value your feedback on this kind of video what you enjoyed if there's more things I could talk more in depth about or even more things that I could film and I don't know explain I don't know you guys you guys let me know what you want to see I I'm enjoying this this vibe, this more casual way of filming things, and I really want to continue it. So we're going to keep going for a few more episodes. If it keeps rolling on to more and more and more, and this just becomes a thing, then fantastic. If I'm finding it a bit hard to do, then maybe I'll slow it down a bit. I don't know. Let's just see what the future has in store for us. I'm going to wrap it up here. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone for joining along, coming in and hanging out with me, and a extra special thank you to all my Patreon members. You guys are amazing. They are a very, very special community to me, and they are really helping me fund doing this as an almost full-time gig. We are almost there. We're almost at the precipice of swapping over. So thank you everyone for popping over there and supporting me in so many ways. If you're interested in joining the Patreon, you get uh, special membership benefits for my patterns, for community things, etc, etc. Just go find the link below and you can go see what you can get involved in. But apart from that, I think I'm ready to wrap it up. I'm going to go order some polyfill and I'm going to go start preparing for the pattern creation part, pattern writing part. 
the pattern development. There's a better name for what the stage might be called, but we're all working on it. We're all workshopping, aren't we? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave you all to it. Thank you for hanging out with me, everyone, and have a blessed day or night or dawn or dusk or lunchtime, whenever you're watching this. Okay, bye. <laughs>